everyone and welcome back to my channel I hope you guys are doing really really well today I'm going to test out a TikTok hack that I've been trying to do for a very long time so the hack today that I want to test is a hack from TikTok um, and it's related to your face so basically it's basically <laughs> related to uh, how you apply a foundation. Um, it says that it gives you a, a literally a filtered look to your skin and it looks really, really pretty. So I wanna test it out myself. Um, so how this works is basically we start with a very well moisturized face, moisturized face, which I have already, which is why it's very, very um, shiny at the moment. I will zoom you in. Right, and um, so we started with a moisturized face and then next we go in with um, a translucent powder. The powder I'm using today is my Laura Mercier one. You can use any powder you like. So this needs to be like a light dusting on all of your face. I've heard that this is mainly for like really oily skin tones, um, really oily um skin finishes but i actually have combination skin so while my cheeks are dry my t-zone is actually quite oily so we shall see how this works okay so um basically it says that the minute you feel that your skin is not sticky or um, creamy, oily to the touch, you should stop your powder. Then right after this, next we go in with a setting spray. So the spray I'm using today is uh, the MAC Prep and Prime. This is a travel one. So refreshing. Now we need to make sure that this setting spray is absolutely dried down. Um, and it's completely dry before we add any of the other layers. Okay, so my face is completely dry now. Uh, now the next step is to go in with a primer. It could be any primer. So I'm going in with my Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Primer. This is a really nice moisturizing one so it doesn't dry out your skin at all. Now it does, does feel a bit weird because like we've got the powder under the skin and then we've got the setting spray but it almost feels like the setting spray is going to help keep the powder intact and then next we will go in with our foundation now the foundation that i've selected today today is actually very very glowy on my skin which is why i wanted to test this out and see if it makes me any oily or if it makes any difference to my skin um, and this is the ysl touche claire foundation um, the colour I have in this is BR20. So I'm just going to put some onto my hand. This foundation usually, um, it doesn't set matte and it does slightly sometimes make my um, T-zone quite oily. So I just want to test this out and see if this actually makes a difference. So I have completely covered my face with foundation. So please excuse my under eyes, I will cover them next. Um, but let me just zoom you in so we can see what the foundation looks like at the moment. Um, I don't see any difference as yet. One of the videos that I saw on the tutorial actually said that you could leave your skin as it is and you don't have to powder it. Um, however, what I will do is I won't powder my T-zone because that's why I get oily um, and that's what I want to test. But I will powder my cheeks and the rest of my face um, so I can help with my bronze and contour. So I will do the rest of my makeup and I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back with the rest of my makeup done. Um, I will zoom you in now and show you what my skin is looking like at the moment. Obviously this is a highlighter, so please ignore that. Um, I haven't powdered the center of my face. I've only powdered my cheeks. Everything else is exactly what it looks like. And I have to say, 
and I'm not trying to be biased and I do want to see how this ends up looking like but at the moment I think my skin looks really flawless like I mean flawless in the sense that it does actually look like filtered and much more smoother now we will see um, throughout the day how it goes and at the end of the day I will definitely show you what my skin is looking like so please remember this and I will see you guys at the end of the day approximately 10 hours later hi guys so um sorry i actually forgot to um do an end of day video however um i do have this um these pictures for you showing you what uh, my face looked like at the end of the day to be very honest um initially looked absolutely fine um however i do think that if you are wearing this for longevity i don't think it made a massive difference um in my t-zone it made a bit of a difference but not as as big of a difference as people might have said or might have mentioned um would i do this um, again maybe if i really want to if i'm taking a lot of pictures i'm going out on a party i may do but i do think that i should have um powdered my t-zone as well um at the end and that might have made a difference but all in all um i'm quite neutral about this method um i wouldn't say it's a bad one but i wouldn't say it's you know absolute excellent out of this world either so yeah let me know if you guys try this and um yeah let me let me know if you found it good or bad or you were just meh like i was anyway thanks for watching take care bye